Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Joe Yoon, AKA Joe Therapy. And in this video, I'm gonna give you five tips and tricks on how to survive the desk life. So if you sit at a desk a lot and your body is starting to feel the effects of sitting at a desk a lot, this is going to be the perfect video for you. So let's get it started with tip number one. Tip number one is optimizing your monitor height. So if you have a laptop or an external monitor like I do, having the monitor set up about eye level or slightly just below is going to be optimal. The reason for this is that when we're looking at our monitor, if it's down towards the desk, we have a tendency to round forward. So as long as our monitor is about eye level, then it really helps us create a little bit better posture in our upper body and really mitigate some of the effects of being hunched over all the time. Tip number two is changing your work position. So I'm in a seated position right now, and there's nothing wrong with being seated while you get work done. I actually prefer it when I do certain types of work, but changing positions can be great for your body. The whole goal of surviving the desk life is making sure you're set up properly, but also moving around as much as you can while you're getting your work done. So to help me with that is a stand-up desk. And this desk is from Uplift Desk, great desk. And also one of my favorite features is having presets. That way I've programmed my perfect heights. So this is my seated height. And then if I press number two, I have my ideal standing height. So when I'm going through my workflow for the day, I'll be seated a little bit of the time. And if my shoulders, my low back, or my legs are just kind of bothering me a little bit, I'll stand up for a small amount of time. And then I'll, I'll just alternate back and forth from a seated to a standing position. Just helps break up the positions and gets your body moving a little bit better. So definitely recommend having a stand-up desk. That way you can go from a seated position to a standing position. Tip number three is working in blocks. And personally, I like to do 25 minutes of work and then five minute break. It's almost like a workout set, uh, but it's called Pomodoros and there's a whole bunch of different variations that you can do. That's just the one that works best for me. But I've found that it really helps me with my focus and that five minute break helps so much with my body, also mentally too. But during that five minute break, I'll stand up, I'll move my shoulders around, maybe I'll go grab some water, but just getting out of this hunched over position while I'm working at the desk helps a ton to give my body a break. Tip number four is doing some stretches and getting moving right at your desk. So I'm gonna show you a couple body weight movements, but you can also do something with your stand-up desk. And I'm gonna show you a really cool stretch that I learned how to do when I got this desk. But the first ones I'm going to show you are fairly simple, you don't need anything. You're sitting down in your chair and anything where we're extending our body or upper body is going to be great because we're hunched over all the time. We want to open our bodies up. So take your hand out in front of you and just look up, bring your arms over your head and then bring your chest forward, arching your back. You can come back this way, reset, and bring your arms up. We're getting some great shoulder movements and then also working that mid back, that thoracic spine, which is always key to keep mobile. And then there's another stretch that I love to do is sit down in your chair, take a nice little wide stance here, and then take your hand, bring it to the outside of the thigh, arm comes up, and then we're just going to side bend and reach over. Great stretch in the shoulder, down the whole side portion of the body, down into your low back. Just breathe here, try to relax. You can hold that for about 30 seconds. And now let's get into the stretch that I like to do on the stand-up desk. So I'm going to lower this down just a little bit. And one of my favorite moves to do is called the pigeon pose, but I like to do it on an elevated surface. I just get a better stretch and it feels a little bit better for me. So you can guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my foot and my leg up on the desk and perform the elevated pigeon pose. Make sure your feet are clean. Bring your leg up this way. And this is the elevated pigeon. So we're getting a great stretch on our hip and glute here. And what we can do is actually raise the desk up, which is increasing the stretch in the glute here. So I'm bringing it up. Now I'm getting even more of an intense stretch. You can bring it higher. And 
this is one of those surprisingly cool things you can do with a stand-up desk. And it's actually a really good stretch that I love to do and I prescribe to my clients all the time. And this is just a fun way to do it. So very happy that I can do this with this desk. And if you have one at home, make sure you give that a try. Tip number five and the last tip is drinking plenty of water. Obviously being hydrated is very important. So if you're not drinking enough water, make sure you pour your glass of water, fill up that water bottle and sip that throughout your workday, especially if you're sitting down. Another benefit of that is when you're drinking water, you're eventually going to have to get up and go to the bathroom. So when you get up, you're moving your body. We don't really care how you're moving your body. It just needs to move. So that's why we're doing things like stretching at our desk, we're changing positions. And again, drinking some water, that way we stay hydrated, but also have to get up and start walking around. So hopefully you enjoyed those five tips on how to survive the desk life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and comment down below. Let me know what videos you want to see in the future. And I hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you next time.